How much do you think the most expensive apartment in the world costs at the moment? $50 million? Or maybe $100 million? Actually, it's much more expensive than that. Now you're about to find out where it is and what's in it. This is Infinity, and in this episode, I'll show you the most expensive apartment in the world that you'll want to live in, as well as the most expensive houses and buildings around the world. Let's go. Odeon Tower Given the housing market, one would assume that the most expensive apartment on the planet is in Hong Kong, New York, or even Moscow. But in fact, it's in Monaco. The Odeon Tower is the most expensive and luxurious apartment in the world, although it's hard to call it an apartment because it's a five-story penthouse. This pleasure costs $387 million. You can count how many mansions and cars you would buy with that amount of money. And I'll tell you a little bit about the Odeon Tower itself. Actually, that's not the name of the apartment, but of the skyscraper located on the Mediterranean coast. It is, by the way, the tallest building in Monaco. The luxurious penthouse is part of the skyscraper. The area of this five-story building is about 37,674 square feet. Here you can find the highest water slide in the world and a huge swimming pool with a gorgeous view. Each floor of the penthouse has a bathroom and a kitchen. In total, there are five bedrooms, a huge living room, an impressive movie theater, a chic dining room, a gym, as well as many different areas for a comfortable and interesting pastime. It'd be cool to live here, but only very, very rich people can do that. However, the Odeon Tower is far from the limit. There are houses in the world that cost many times more. Let's take a look at them, too. Antilia Antilia is a skyscraper, a private one. This makes Antilia the most expensive private residential building in the world. It's owned by Indian businessman Mikesh Ambani, who lives here with his family. There's enough space for all because the area of the skyscraper is an insane 398,265 square feet, which makes it the largest private house on the planet. The cost of the building is estimated at $2.6 billion. Antilia is a 27-story building, which is 568 feet tall. The skyscraper is designed to withstand the most powerful earthquakes with a magnitude of 8. Inside Antilia, there are 9 elevators, a gigantic parking lot for 168 cars, a car service, a theater for 50 people, a spa, hanging gardens, several swimming pools, a bunch of living quarters for the Ambani family, and servants, and much more. There's a helipad on the roof. Surprisingly, with all this, the construction of Antilia cost only 50 to 70 million dollars, which is very cheap for such a giant private skyscraper. But neither Antilia nor the penthouse in Monica is comparable to the most expensive building in the world. It's not an apartment building or even someone's royal residence. You all know the place. It's Masjid al-Haram, also known as the Great Mosque of Mecca. It's the main mosque in the world and is located in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. This is where Muslims from all over the world come to make the pilgrimage, one of the most important things in their lives. The cost of the mosque is staggering. It's an estimated $100 billion. That's literally a cosmic price, because a similar price is usually charged for various NASA shuttles, vehicles, and space stations. But here it's understandable. The Great Mosque of Mecca is incredibly beautiful and very large. It holds about a million people and up to 4 million during the pilgrimage. There are about 50 entrances for worshippers. The mosque has 9 minarets with a height of about 328 feet. The air inside is refreshed by many air conditioners. There are escalators for more comfortable movement inside, and the building itself is decorated with more than 500 marble columns. Even many people who are not Muslims dream about seeing this beauty in person. Abraj al -Bayit. The next record breaker is located right next to the Great Mosque of Mecca. Saudi Arabia does not cease to amaze with its insane rates in terms of price, because Abraj al Bayt is the most expensive building complex on the planet, costing about $15 billion. It's a unique complex consisting of seven towers, which are named after the main holy places of Islam. They range in height from 788 to 1,972 feet and boast many records. Abraj al Bayt is the largest structure in the world 
called by mass, the tallest structure in Saudi Arabia and the third tallest building in the world after the Burj Khalifa and the Shanghai Tower. One of the towers is the Mecca Royal Clock Tower Hotel, and it's the tallest hotel in the world with a height of 1,972 feet. It's this hotel that annually accommodates tens of thousands of Muslims who come to visit the Great Mosque of Mecca and make the pilgrimage. Here on top of the hotel, you can see the largest clock in the world. The diameter of the dial exceeds 131 feet. Thanks to the backlighting, at night it can be seen from a distance of 10 and a half miles. It's the largest and highest clock in the world and can be seen from anywhere in the city. Among other things, Abraj al Bayt has residential apartments for permanent residents, two helipads, conference rooms, a four-story shopping center, a huge parking lot, and much more. All in all, it's a phenomenal complex of buildings. The One After such a huge building complex, you want to move on to something more modest, like this mansion. Although the word modest is not very appropriate here, because the Los Angeles mansion, called The One, is staggering in its luxury. It's the most expensive mansion in the world, costs half a billion dollars. This 107,639-square-foot supermansion is equipped with literally everything in the world. There are 21 bedrooms, 42 bathrooms, and a huge master bedroom which is comparable in size to a 10-room apartment. But that's not all. There are tennis courts, billiard room, gyms, spa, library, motor dome, wine cellar for 10,000 bottles, seven underground swimming pools, cinema for 32 seats, 50 cars garage. Come on, there's even a nightclub and bowling alley. You can never go outside the territory of the mansion at all and still live a full, busy life. The one is so huge that it will take more than an hour to get around it. Would you like to live in this mansion? The Empathy Suite Some people like to live in huge houses and never go anywhere, while others are constantly on the move. Such people often stay in hotels. You can't stay long in the Empathy Suite unless you're a billionaire, because it's the most expensive hotel room in the world. It's located in the Palms Casino Resort Hotel in Las Vegas. To spend the night in it, you'll have to pay a hundred thousand bucks, and it's impossible to stay for only one night. You need to book a room for at least two nights. This is probably the way the hotel owners are taking care of their rich guests. After all, it's impossible to fully enjoy this room with an area of 9,000 square feet in a day. In the room, designed by the famous British artist Damien Hirst, there's everything you need. Massage rooms, bathrooms, gym, bedrooms, relaxation room. There's even a private pool with a view of the Las Vegas Strip, a Vegas landmark. There are even two sharks splashing around in the formaldehyde tank. By the way, the Empathy Suite can accommodate 50 people, so this room is sure to be perfect for a lavish party or bachelor party in Vegas. The W.T. Wagoner The Empathy Suite Hotel is certainly huge, but compared to the next place, it's incredibly small, because I'm talking about the record-breaking W.T. Wagoner Ranch in Texas. Just think about it. Its area is 799 square miles. You heard that right, exactly miles. The W.T. Wagner Ranch is larger than Mauritius and smaller than Luxembourg. The ranch was built in 1849 by Dan Wagner and later expanded by his son. In 1902, while digging a well on the ranch, they discovered not water, but oil. Now approximately 1,000 wells pump barrels of oil daily. Living with your own oil wells is something new. Not surprisingly, such a huge place, which is also rich in minerals, cost $725 million. There are several dozen Wagner family mansions, a two-story marble office building, hunting grounds, three lakes, 20 farms, and thousands of cattle. The complete inventory includes more than 4,000 items. Basically, it's a whole mini-state where you can do anything you want. I wonder if Kanye West, the world's top ranch fam, will ever buy it. The W.T. Wagner Ranch may well be called a historical site, but in terms of historicity, it's still inferior to the villa of Leopold II of Belgium. He was the king of the Belgians in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, ruler of the Congo Free State and one of the most brutal men in history, who ruined the lives of millions of innocent people. But that's not the point now. 
His villa was built on the Mediterranean coast for the king's favorite and future wife, Caroline Lacroix, nicknamed the Queen of the Congo. Leopold II didn't skimp on a house for his beloved, and this is what resulted. 11 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, guest bedrooms, huge walking terraces, and much more. There's even a bowling alley and a movie theater. These rooms, of course, were built after Leopold II's death. The estate itself has been restored, so it still looks fine. And of course, it costs a fabulous amount of money. The price can go up to $750 million. Via Les Cedres Leopold II loved estates in general, and he wasn't limited to the one in which you just heard about. He owned another very luxurious and expensive villa on the French Riviera, Via Les Cedres, which means the Villa of the Cedars. It's in the resort commune of saint jean cap ferrat in France. It was built back in 1830, and Leopold II owned it in the early 20th century. Although the house is almost 200 years old, it looks fine because it's been carefully restored many times. Its area is smaller than that of the villa Leopold II built for his wife, but Via Les Cedres is also impressive in its size. The area of the mansion is 18,000 square feet, and the plot area is more than 35 acres. There are 14 bedrooms, many terraces, a swimming pool, stables, a pond, and even a botanical garden. The interiors literally scream of wealth and everything around is saturated with luxury. And it's possible to live here. If you're a billionaire and you want to move into Villa Les Cedres, it's worth trying to persuade the current tenant. He paid $220 million for the estate the year before last. Outbid him and I think the villa will be yours. That's all, guys. Which of these expensive houses would you like to live in? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.